me now to talk about this deal is Joseph Greco. He is a managing director at Meridian Equity Partners. Joseph, I just want to get your take in terms of this deal and if you think it's a good one for NYSE, you're next. Um, well, we still believe that it's, a, that it's a good deal and on a lot of levels it makes sense. Uh, obviously, the market, predominantly ARBs, uh, came up this morning and, and reacted with uh, you know bidding it up pre-market. And then once the terms came out, they kind of subsided and, and acted a little bit coolly with the stock trading down below $37 even. So I, I think at this point, ARBs think this is very much in favor of the Deutsche Bourse, less so uh, for the NYSE Euronex Group, and uh, we have to see if there's anybody else in the wings. I guess, Joseph, what's your biggest concern when it comes to this deal at the present moment? Um, really, my, my only concern at this point is that it's, it's undervaluing what's going on here and, and what the NYS, uh, NYSE Euronex Group does. Uh, we represent on the floor I mean, maybe a smaller percentage of what their gross and, uh, you know, and underlying revenues are, but at the end of the day, the group has uh, really positioned itself well on a global scale, and that was the goal in, in teaming up with a group like the Deutsche Bourse. Um, but we have, you know, news out yesterday that CME Group potentially could be the, uh, you know, the knight in shining armor for uh, for the NYSE to keep the uh, the national concern and the national icon intact here, and uh, and you know still expand upon what the offering is for their client base. How likely do you think it's it's a, a possibility that CME Group may make a hostile bid for NYSE or next as well? Well, definitely a possibility. Uh, not having any uh, you know reliable inside sources to give me the, the nod, I think that they're they're definitely investigating it and seeing if it's worth it. Uh, their balance sheet can handle it. It makes sense, um, you know, from a uh, you know compliance and regulatory standpoint. I, I don't see where there would be any less or more uh, concerns there to get the deal passed as there would be with the Deutsche Bourse. And of course, you know, the national concern. Everybody's been talking about, you know, what flags going to be hanging out in front of this building. And I think that that would really, you know, uh, you know, mitigate those fears. So the drama may continue here. I think it will. You know, we had an early morning announcement with the Deutsche Bourse terms, and, and just like uh, you know, last week when we learned of the MYSC talking with them, uh, we may have a midday. Uh, you know, rebuttal from the CME group, so we'll see. You know, I want to also ask you quickly, what do you think uh, will change down here? I mean, is that a concern for you at all? Not, not a concern. From a business perspective, uh, you know, Meridian's positioned itself well. Our client base, you know, wants us here. They like the presence we have in the local, you know, U.S. market. Uh, if they have a presence or a need for a presence in Europe, they already have those people in the local markets there, so we're not going to replace them, and those people over there aren't going to replace us. Uh, we have very strong relationships, and the people down here on the floor have already, you know, committed to a revitalization of the floor, you know, refurbishing the floor and, and, and building out the new pods to take us into the future. So I'm not concerned that the business here is going to change so much. I think what it will do is expand upon the offerings to clients and hopefully, uh, you know, firms that, that are aggressive will get involved and will be able to, uh, you know, capture some of that order flow. Great. Thanks so much for taking the time.